Hi, my name's Phil and I'm from Warehouse Mowers. And in this video, I'm gonna focus on examples of uh, an engine seizing, or how to get a, how an engine seizes. Um, there's 101 ways of uh, seizing an engine, but we're just gonna go through the, the main ones. And the first one, number one, is, is running straight fuel in a two-stroke engine. So straight fuel or gas. Um, the two-stroke engine needs oil to lubricate it, and uh, running straight fuel, uh, it doesn't have the lubrication, so therefore it wears out and uh, it will seize. And through the heat, the heat expands it, and then it just stops running. It's when the piston expands to a bigger size than what the cylinder is, so, and it'll stop running. The next one, so that's straight fuel. Uh, second one is, is the wrong mix. So if you run a lean mix, which is not enough oil, uh, for the amount of fuel you're using, then uh, it will, again, it will not have enough lubric lubrication, so it will wear out. Uh, third thing is bad oil or a poor quality oil. And there are good oils and there are poor quality oils, and we've gone through that in a previous video. But uh, make sure that you use a quality two-stroke oil uh, and, and the right amount. Uh, and just be aware, too, that four-strokes can can seize if you've got a, if they're running lean, so if the air fuel mix is wrong, then uh, then you can actually seize a, a four stroke engine as well, but we're gonna concentrate on two strokes at the moment. These little engines do a mighty job, amazing for the size, for the power that they can actually, uh, can actually uh, manufacture, so, um, but you, um, you've got to do things right so that it can run at its uh, peak performance. So and here we have here just an example. Uh, this is a piston that's scored. This one hasn't seized, but if, if it kept running uh, the way it was, uh, then uh, it would it would have seized. So if you can see the scoring there, the lines up and down the piston, that's the start of it wearing out. So. It's a sure sign that uh, that something's wrong. So, uh, so with as I said, with uh, so your machine doesn't seize, just make sure that uh, you do your maintenance and that you look after it. And they don't need a lot of maintenance, but just the bit that you uh, that you should do. And again, in other videos, we've got those uh, those points of reference that'll stop your machine from ever getting into one of these situations of of seizing. So there you have it. There's some tips on keeping your machine running uh, and not getting into a situation where you seize an engine. Uh, if you'd like more tips on this, uh, come on in or give us a call on 1300 466 694 or check us out on www.warehousemowers.com.au. We'll have more tips and features uh, on this and other machines uh, soon, so we'll talk to you then.